Jesus explains, inner resistance is an obstacle to receiving the truth. January 20th, 1955, message 6170, from Jesus through Berta Dude, spoken by Pascal. My word must be received without resistance when it resounds from above within a person's heart. The slightest resistance makes man incapable of hearing it in all its purity. For resistance signifies opposing thought, enabling my adversary to slip in, if only to provoke resistance within to prevent the reception of truth. His strength will not carry him any further because the recipient of my word consciously unites himself with me, and his resistance arises more from his desire for truth. Hence, he only resists when the truth appears endangered to him. Nevertheless, this resistance is not appropriate, for one who unites with me to receive my word must relinquish himself entirely over to me, and he may be certain that I will protect him from misguided spiritual knowledge. This is why only few people are suited to receive my word, because most of them cling to knowledge they are not willing to surrender. This is why a strong faith is required only accepting as truth that which I myself convey to earth through the working of my spirit. Those who have embraced certain knowledge that is not in accordance with the word spoken by me directly are hardly willing to accept the latter, because then they would need to reform their entire thought process, and this requires a well-developed desire for truth. To consider these people with my direct word would therefore be impossible, because time and again the resistance would awaken within them as soon as my word deviates from their past knowledge and thinking. And then my adversary would have an easy time again and again to sow doubt. Man must believe that I myself speak to him, and that any and all error is therefore ruled out. Only then will it be possible to purify a completely distorted teaching. Only then will it be possible to render the adversary of truth harmless. However, the deeper the error is rooted within a person, the more difficult it is for him to free himself from it. So he would be unable to hear my word directly, because any and all resistance makes it impossible. The battle between light and darkness is particularly fierce wherever the light seeks to break through. Only a strong will directed towards me will chase away the hostile forces from below. I will bless such a will and never allow it to be weakened by the hostile forces. I will always grant man the understanding of when he is attacked, so he will arm himself and cleave ever closer to me, to be protected against every influence coming from below. Those who subsequently believe that I speak to the people need not doubt the truth either, for otherwise they would doubt my love and might as well the very things that prevent misguided thoughts from creeping in and endangering the truth. Yet as long as they doubt, they are unable to hear my voice within themselves, for this absolutely requires a strong faith in my love, my wisdom and my might. Thereby they will know that I wish to convey the truth to the people, that I will choose the proper channels and truly protect those from error who offer themselves in service to me and their fellow men. Amen.